Hello and welcome back to our Red Cube. In this episode of the Arduino Beginners Course, I am showing you how to make a Morse code. This requires some concepts that we learned in the previous episode, like how to turn a light on, off, and how to blink it. So, if you haven't seen that, please check out my previous video. So let's begin our code. I already have my code down here, I'm, but I'm going to explain to you how it works. First, I made my LED port, which will be 12. If you want to, if you want to make it uh, keep it 13 in our last episode and use the internal LED, then you can do that. But I am going to be showing you with an external LED. An uh, external LED isn't required if you want to make it with the, in, uh, the internal LED. You can see how to do that in the first video. So that this is just my variables. The LED part and the next word. This I'm going to be using just for the use of debugging to see how it is. And it can also be used for just like not debugging, just running. Now I have the time it will take for the dot and how to and the time it will take for dash. This is this will be required in while we wait to see if we make it a dot or dash. And then the type will be dot. We can change it to dash. And if we change it to dash, then the program will make it dash time. And if we keep it dot, it will be dot time. And now it's in the repeat time. And the repeat time is the time that in the beginning we do we put the repeat time and then we change the repeat time to so we don't use the repeat time again just so we can know okay we're having a new word now. And then the and then after that is the boolean a next word. And you can see the repeat is a boolean and the next word is a boolean. And boolean just means if it's true or false. Now let's go in the void setup. In this setup you can see I set up two pins. The LED pin and a next word pin. So that will be 12 and 4 and 4. And I also am using serial just in case. Now I'm going to be showing you how to attach external LEDs. You can see that my external LEDs are already here. Three. I'm going to show you how. If you have your Arduino starter kit, then it should come with two this these two wires and a bunch of LEDs. So first, I'm connecting a, the black wire in the minus, putting that as ground. And I'm attaching the positive red wire into port 12. You can also make this 13, but just so we don't get confused about the light and these external lights, I made it 12. And you can also see that I have one LED here that also is connected with the positive to pin 5 and then we're doing this uh, this negative or ground the ground f goes around in this whole area so this ground is connecting to this which is giving it a ground for the LED here and you can see that you just have to connect the LEDs the big the big part of the LED has to go in the positive the pin and the small has to go in the ground. You can do the same thing for this side. Now if you see here this when you hover over it it shows in the side serial monitor and if you click that serial monitor Right now, that will only work when your program is running. Otherwise, it would say board at 
and then whatever whatever uh, port you have is not available so uh, you have to uh, run your program and then only the serial will be available now I'm going to show you the loop, that's the main function, void loop. So basically what it does, it, it first makes the next word key, that means it's taking a break, then it runs the Morse code, Morse code, Morse code, Morse code, and then its next word is true, and then again two Morse codes. So this means dot dot dot, and then dot dot. You can check what Morse code is online, but basically it's just a group of dots and dashes to decode a secret message. So this dot 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 dot, four dots, will be H and two dots will be I. So this is going to say hi in Morse code. Now you might be wondering what this Morse code is. Well, it's a function I created here. You can create a function with void void. That just means it is a function that returns nothing. If you want to return a string, then you can put string. Or if you want to return an integer, you can put int. But we're not going to return anything. This is just going to give the output. So I'm making this a void. And then this is the serial dot print line and we can see we uh, we have the serial here and over on this side of your IDE you should see the serial monitor so that just means it prints the next word for debugging purposes which will be which should be false unless you're at this line which will be true and this serial will print it as 0 or 1. 1 would true and 0 as false. So now we check if the next word is true and the next word just means if there's one word is over and then and a new word will start. And if it is it will make the LED on make it false so that it doesn't repeat this It'll wait some time because it's the next word and then it will turn the LED off. And this is the next word LED. So for debugging purposes, if you don't want to debug, then you can remove that part. Now, in under that we have delay 200. That just means the next letter is starting. So if we have the next word and in total it should wait. 500 milliseconds or half of a second now you can now under that it just checks if it's dot then it turns the light on it waits dot time and turns the light off or it checks if it's dash and if it is it turns the light on waits dash time and turns the light off and you can see that here we're doing it with the LED port, that means the actual one where we're going to be using on, off, on, off, on, off with Morse code. Now I'm going to show you how to run your Arduino code. You have to upload it and it will compile. Now if you look at your Arduino, once it's done uploading, you can see that the light is blinking four times and then it's and then the other light is turning on and then it's blinking another two times now if i open my serial monitor you can see that when you rerun it or it comes just here one two three four one and then one two that's how it should go. And then another one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then one. And then three. Three. You can also change here the auto scroll option or the show timestamps. 
you put show timestamps, then from the next one it shows the exact time when this output came. To clear all the already there outputs, you can click clear output. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. And check out my other videos on the Arduino Beginners course. Bye! Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Bye!